Hi guys and welcome to the deliberation of uh, the next top singer judges choice round. Uh, so I've come up with a judge related pun kind of, it's a stretch, it's music related as well but it's uh, not an intro if we don't have one. So a woman is on trial for beating her husband to death with his guitar collection and the judge asks her first offender and she says no, first to Gibson, then offender. <laughs> Oh my god. That is that that's like a rocker dad joke. That that's a rocker yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's, that's that's not one of my best, but we've used it and uh <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the quality of the contestants is going to be way higher uh, than the quality of my judges because we're into the semi-finals. So oh the God. three that go forward here, no stars on the table. Three that go forward are going to end up being Ooh. in the grand final. And talking of uh, someone who knows about finals, uh, we've got uh, Andrea with us, but we've also got Scott with us as a guest Woo! judge for this uh, this key moment. So, Scott, you were in the finals for Next Top Singer 2019 and then won the All-Stars season 2020, am I right? Uh, yep, that's right. Um, definitely have enjoyed my time so far and doing all of these song covers has definitely inspired me to, you know, keep singing as a whole. So I definitely, I think, you know, all of the contestants here are, you know, amazing and just doing the uh, singing covers uh, in general, just, uh, it takes a lot. So I feel like, you know, these people just are amazing. <laughs> Can I just say that when it comes to him saying how much he enjoyed his time in 2019 and 2020 that he's lying <laughs> I, I can guarantee you he did not enjoy that <laughs> there <laughs> look i will i will admit i was very stubborn sometimes but also like i recognize my quality of work has it vastly improved it since the start of that it, so. think about this <laughs> it went from me just slamming on him the entire 2019 season to me helping hit make sure that that he won 2020 so that that tells you how much that you can improve doing a show like this i, I had to work hard to win you yes over. you did <laughs> but you did in the end mark on the other hand he never liked you he still doesn't he, he, he's having a he's having a really tough time having to do the show with you today so are you kidding me from week one i was like scott's got this versatile voice he can do anything he can do anything andrew and petri are both like uh, nah he's just a rock guy <laughs> I always no, I definitely yeah I definitely appreciated the the backing from Mark yeah. that I got so <laughs> oh I'm only kidding Mark. unbelievable we haven't even started you trying to throw me under the bus wow. <laughs> It's what I do best. <laughs> okay, well... Pet Petri's not here to exactly. babysit. <laughs> okay, well, my turn to uh, get some revenge then. Andrea, you get the first pick. Yes, okay. Um, How about we go with... How about we go with Natasha? We can do that. It is, okay, I picked, yep. so now somebody has to go. <laughs> okay, Um, sure, I can go. Um, so <laughs> Natasha... Uh, yeah, so I liked a lot of the stuff that she was doing. Um, I just felt that a lot. Uh, some parts were a little bit pitchy and the vocals are mixed a little bit too loud and I felt like she wasn't really uh, like the song didn't really showcase a lot of her voice I felt like I felt like she was kind of like you know not not bringing her a game kind of thing because based on her previous songs that I've heard I felt like it was also the tone the, that she was singing and was like if you've heard the song uh, just a girl by no doubt Gwen Stefani I felt like she was kind of in that same kind of almost uh, whiny tone kind of so yeah all right I'll go next since it was my pick um natasha i had like such high high hopes for you uh for this round and you didn't pick macy gray and my come on your voice is so macy gray and it would have been so perfect i don't know why you didn't pick it but um i have always loved that unique voice and i think that there is so much that you can do with that voice and i think you really are going to go far if you keep working on it and i believe natasha was the one who changed her uh song last minute like she had one that she was already doing and then she decided to kind of do a full 180 and change completely and and that's always a gamble but unfortunately it just didn't pay off this time at least not for me um there were a lot of issues with the song some of the notes that that you were singing were really 
off. It seemed like you were singing under the notes almost the entire song. Like it was just just a little bit flat in some places and then really flat in other places. Some of the phrasing also seemed to be off, uh, kind of like you were losing breath towards the end of a phrase. And there just wasn't the emotion that you usually bring to your songs. And it, it was so tough because, again, I'm such a fan of that unique voice. But this just wasn't the song and it just didn't come off the way I was hoping it would come off. Okay. A um, little tough one for me because my heart sank when I opened the email and saw that it was Foolish Game, which was my pick, but that it was the one that was thrown together on the last day. Because every season, I've always got this one pick out of Judge's Choice that I feel like could have been the performance and had the potential to be um, my first 10 of the whole show it would have been if I could have uh, pulled it out. But then we get something incomplete, which is kind of sad. I mean, I would have expected it if she went for Foolish Game first and worked in it for six days and couldn't quite nail it and went back because it's quite a tough piece to try and get hold of. But yeah, it was definitely lacking um, a few things. It's challenging and nuanced and deep and could have benefited from some harmony work and that sort of thing. I was getting glances or sort of glimpses of the vibe that I wanted from it and hints why it was the right choice for her, but it maybe needed that full um, that full time in it. I kind of feel like performance wise for the vibe, she kind of got that on point and the emotion for the song, but plenty of technicals in there. Um, some of the phrases were a bit mumbled, sharpness of pitch. Um, yeah, I think quite a few technical issues ended up cropping in, cropping up into it. I don't think she's the only one, um, which we'll get oh, on no, to no, definitely um, as not. we move on, yeah. on to the others. And um, I guess a little saving grace is that there are a few technicals that we can pull up across the board. But um, yeah, I think if she'd worked on it for the full week or maybe submitted the one she'd spent five, six days on, it would have been a better position to put herself yeah. in. Yeah, I mean, like I said, yeah, definitely. last minute changes when you're this close to the finale is, to me, I mean, that's a risk that some people are willing to take, but it's, it, it's not a risk that I would take as somebody, you know, who's performed professionally. I would never say, like, get to an audition and then say, oh, you know what? I'm going to change my song, even though I practiced this other song with my vocal coach for the last week, but I'm going to change it up. And right before I go on stage, I'm going to sing a different song. It's... I don't know. It's it just didn't. I, I just don't think that was a gamble worth taking. And um, yeah. Yeah, but. I just feel like if she had stuck with her original pick, uh, I don't. I don't know actually what it was, but like even just the fact that she practiced that more, I would have been uh, more interested in hearing that as opposed to this, which is just sort of rushed and you know kind of shortened, and we don't get the full like quality that you know she can bring. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're uh, we're all pretty much in agreement. Then that was quite easy. Yeah. <laughs> I like it when that happens. Um, okay, I guess we all good to move on? Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. good. I'm good. Cool. Um, all right, well, I think for me then, I'll go for Tristan next. And for the, the second time in two episodes, he's got the top performance from me. Little spoiler. Um, okay. I mean, it was a, a great song choice from Petri putting it in for him and a great pick for him um, to grab that one as well. Um, I can kind of call him up a little bit on it being super comfortable and super in his range but only to a point. Yeah. Um, I think the sustain in it was excellent throughout maybe on some of the higher runs fell a little flat um, but you know, generally technically very solid um, I get the vibe that he likes to put his own spin and his own performance elements into his performances and this song didn't really give him that much opportunity to it but he did try and play around a little bit with the phrasing as well which I liked and um, yeah I mean all in all he doesn't have the same list of technical issues that um, anyone else does really and then performance wise I've got him pretty much nailed on for it so job well done for the star save <laughs> alright um, can I go next for Tristan yeah, sure. yeah you are next anyway right. um, so yeah I actually uh, also agree with Mark's judgment that Tristan was definitely my favorite performance out of this round I definitely got major chills like as the song went on and that was pretty much the only song uh, throughout this competition like aside from maybe one or two other songs uh, throughout this uh, round or whatever or not round but the whole competition that like really gave me like emotions and I felt like his voice was silky smooth like he really nailed the kind of adult contemporary tone um, that the song uh, needed and uh, whenever his notes went really big they were really powerful
helpful and I felt like like there was only one or two parts that I felt that could have been a little bit better technically but other than that like I really enjoyed this uh, song like if he put out an album the next day I would probably buy it okay all right can I just point out that I'm the one who gave him a star to save him for this round because y'all voted well not y'all Scott wasn't here but you and Petri voted him out so well technically I voted him out too because he didn't make my top five but I gave him the star to keep him and I'm really glad that I did I thought this performance was definitely a redeeming performance for me there was more power and emotion than in the previous performance for me now like I said and you said there were some pitch issues with pretty much every single performance today unfortunately usually you don't want to see that when we get in the semifinals um but overall I think that uh Tristan was far better tech with the technicality and all of the technical things than some of the other performances so I definitely have to say that um that was also something I was happy with um definitely stronger than some other ones and I still think that Tristan gave us the big moments that I always look for in a performance uh just the one thing I will say is to remember to keep some of the closed notes more open I know that sounds weird but there are notes that are usually closed and there are ways that we can vocally open them up so they don't get pinched off and a little bit nasal but other than that I think that this was an excellent performance and so I'm very glad I used my star Cool. Right. Wow. Okay. This is a little too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Puni. Okay, okay. Then you go first. All right. Um, yeah. So um, I did like uh, what he did with this song. Um, I felt like it started off a little bit uh, blandish, just like it was kind of within his wheelhouse, not nothing too, you know, shiny, spectacular. But as the song went on, it I felt like he really like came into his own. And uh, especially whenever he did the runs and the really high parts, I felt like he really did a good job on those. Um, the smoky quality of his voice really kind of mimicked the, the song lyrics too so I appreciated that um, and I, I, the only thing that I would really note is like there were some you know technical pitch issues or whatever and I felt like he could have like enunciated uh, the words a little bit more because it was kind of hard to uh, you know tell what he was saying but uh, other than that I think he really did a good job okay, Mark. Oh yeah nice one um, for Hooney I, I was glad that he grabbed my song choice here um, I get Petri's issue with it in particular when we were talking about it because I almost did put a, a song choice in for Hooney but I'm glad I did um, it was a little safe for him I totally get that but song choices at this stage they are picked on what they're going to do well for at least for me but also picked based on what their body of work is lacking and something from Hooney is if he's very comfortable we've seen him absolutely smash a couple of the early rounds but getting a song in English and a little stripped back like we got in the big band big band round sorry um, it felt like he needed something where he could just take it and then add a little bit of his own slant to it with a blank canvas and personal highlights for me was sort of riffing over the guitar parts and you know I, I wasn't expecting to get that from him um, but you know we did get exactly that and it's brilliant and that big high run to show off the range as well was good stuff um agree with scott i think he's got some problems getting his mouth around some of the words in english as well as singing at the same time room i think was the the worst one for him yeah. which is a shame um since it's one of the um one of the parts of the song title but yeah you know, I think I'm glad that he's given us something that was, um, you know, <laughs> improving and adding to the uh, original. And I think the other thing that I've got on my notes is that his vocal volume compared to the instrumental was too low throughout. But that's just a mixing yeah. issue more than anything else. And I had to crank it up to make sure that I could get everything. Yes. Okay. Um, I guess that's me then. I really don't have much to add. I mean, I, I kind of agree with uh, Scott that the buildup was like it started off kind of slow in the beginning and I was a little bit worried if he could get that build up going, but he really did. I actually, out of all of the performances that I have heard from Hooney, this was the first one where I could finally say, hey, you know what? I could see why Petri used to star on Hooney and why Petri fought so hard for Hooney. I think this was a very good performance, but there were technical issues and the enunciation was not great. Um, I understand that, you know, sometimes words can be hard depending, you know, on what your first language which is, but there was a lot of words that just, it just didn't come out and it was, the enunciation was very hard to understand. Um, and I think that's kind of where some pitch issues came in is when he's trying to go for a word, the word doesn't come out and the pitch kind of went off a little bit as um, he's trying to sing some of those words. Um, but other than that, 
that I really do think that this was a very good performance and it was probably one of the most solid performances I've heard from Mahoney since the competition for me at least good stuff yeah all right yeah I think there's only one more uh, oh no there's two more Dream Kitu and BB two more, two more. yeah uh, why don't we go with Dream Kitu and Mark I think you start this time sure so this one and I'll be interested to hear you guys opinions on this one probably more than anyone else because I'm so conflicted by this and every time I listen to it I must have gone through it about 11 or 12 times and, and every time it's a little different with my opinion and I think I've figured it out and I think what bugs me the most about this might actually be the performance aspect of it because I completely get what Petri says about soft dynamic with Dream Kitty which is so present and so beautifully executed and those parts are incredible but it's during the bigger sections where we get problems techly which I'll come back to in a second but the whole performance to me doesn't convey the emotion of someone whose ex-love has just moved on to pastures new it's almost like it's bright and uplifting while the lyrics are telling a completely different story and it's something that I've noticed with Dream Kitsu throughout the competition is that they don't really tell the story of the feelings that well for me um, I mean technically as well we've got a few issues especially when we get into the bigger parts um, it feels like she kind of goes very nasal to get into that I, I guess it's head voice for the very high parts and it's maybe a little jarring compared to um, what we get before um, but yeah it, it was a tough one for me because every time I listen I think oh I really like that like, oh I'm not so sure and yeah, maybe you guys could help clear up what I'm, I'm trying to come up with on this one. I don't think I can help you because I had a very similar issue. Um, I, I think Dream Kitu has a very sweet voice and that soft dynamic is just something that's very pleasant to the ear. I do think that I one thing I did like is how she brought that quiet delicacy and built up to a bigger moment. But when she hit some of those bigger moments, some of it sounded, there was a few notes that sounded not only a little screechy, but kind of too fast um, and it, it just I don't know there was something that sounded odd about just like and it and it happened in every chorus uh, when she hits a couple words a little fast a little screechy uh, and, but then she's able to pull it back so I, I don't know it's it didn't detract from the performance for me but there were issues that just kind of sat weird for me um, the song itself like I said I think it was beautiful the soft moments the build up to the big moments but then there were just some technical issues that were just kind of hard to overlook for me. So I, I kind of struggled back and forth with different um, ratings. Like I was going from one rating, then I kind of dropped it a few, but then I brought it back up. And so I was kind of bouncing myself a little bit. Well, I felt like it was a really good performance singing wise. I do definitely agree with both of your points that whenever it the song required a little bit more like power or emotion or anything like that, it just didn't quite quite make it there. Her voice is just too pretty in this context and the song kind of needs a little bit more than that. Like I just wanted to feel more like pain in her voice that you know oh her ex-lover is moving on without her and type of thing but she still loves him and I just wanted to like feel a little bit more of that uh, emotion from her from the the voice and I didn't get that. Again there are pitch issues whenever she gets to the very high parts in the chorus but overall she did good it was just a little too clean and pretty for me and i felt like i the song you know warranted more Okay. Yeah, I think we've all got the same kind of confusion with it, yeah. haven't we? It's like something doesn't quite sit right with it, and it's tough yeah, to Yeah, like, it's it's a... pretty, but there's something that just, I don't know. It, it's like, it's it's one of those, uh, it, it makes me think of, like, when the lyrics of a song are very dark and depressing, but the song is very upbeat and happy. Yeah. It's like something doesn't f fit right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I guess the last one, then, is BB. Oh, all right. Oh, no. um, My dog is... I'll, I'll go with BB. My dog is snoring, so I I gotta, I gotta move him away from the mic. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> He's just starting to snore a little bit louder, so I'm just kind of pushing him to the side. <laughs> okay, all right, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so with BB, uh, I've definitely been a fan of his other songs throughout this competition. Like, I definitely really uh, loved his Elton John cover in the last round. And from this song, I definitely loved the gravel that he put in his voice for, um, you know, just the pure rock quality of it. I felt like some of the parts he cut a little 
little bit short, like just like half a second or half a beat short when he could have held the notes a little bit longer to give it a little bit extra oomph. And I felt like when he did do some of the harmonies at the end, like they were well done, but I feel like it could have used a little bit more because like, you know, it's Queen, like Queen is known for their harmonies, like all the voices just come on, just put it more, 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 that kind of thing. So like, I would have appreciated that, but I understand it's also like, you know, a time constraint and you know, how much you can you really do? But like overall, I really enjoyed this cover. Yeah, Mark? Oh no, I'm going to have to go next, don't I? <laughs> you don't have to if you don't well, want uh, to. Andrew, Andrew, I mean, you can it's, go it's next. up to you <laughs> if you want to. I mean, I'd rather hear what you're about to say so that I could slam you down after the fact, but you know. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well, let's do it that <laughs> okay. way then. So I've got an issue with song choice here. Um, instead of taking something that's laid back with plenty of room to go big and add to it, he's gone for one that has stacked loads of big moments in it and then tried to add even more on top and pass this you know full credit very very well done but large chunks to me are almost overperformed and the technical issues that have come that like my list of time stamp points is longer than my arm for this one um <laughs> I think my, my thing with BB, and I've called it throughout the competition, is that he doesn't seem to know how to use himself best to deliver the cover. Um, this is, I'm sure, definitely a me thing, because Andrew and Petri haven't really agreed with me on this at any point. <laughs> but um, it ends up sort of knocking the performance aspect for me, because it feels like by trying to push it as much as he has, it's thrown him off on the technicals, um, which I can let technicals go if it's a, a nailed on performance. But um, I mean, enunciation of words, uh, the curtain thing, which I think Andrew's picked up on before. Um, maybe not for him, I think that might have been for someone else, but curtain in particular yeah. was a big <laughs> issue. Um, points of being almost waily and off pitch and sort of out of control on the runs, just sort of flying through them rather than having it all nailed on. I mean, when he puts it all together, it's incredible, but this to me seems so wild in terms of the execution that it just threw the, the technicals off so much for me, and the energy and the passion can't, like, it can cover up a lot, but it can't cover up this much for me at least. You are an ass. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, actually, I don't disagree with you on certain aspects. I do think that there were some technical issues, and I think a lot of it, there were some also enunciation issues. I personally like the power that he gave to this song. I like that he was able to control that power. I don't think, like, I can understand where you mean that about, like, being overperformed, but it wasn't, uh, when I say that the control of power, it wasn't like, um, and I'm going to go, I'm going to throw Scott under the bus. In the, the Oh, in 2019, my number one issue with Scott was that he didn't have the control of that power. And sometimes it just got to be too much. And it was just too overpowering and too strong. And then when he came back for the All-Stars, he literally was able to, he found that control and was able to give us that strength without going too far. And that's one thing that I do think BB gives us is strength without going too far. There is control there, even if it may be a little overperformed. Um, um, so I do like that. One thing I do understand the growling can be, you know, kind of that gritty rock sound, but sometimes that growl, that, you know, he puts it in a place where it's not necessary and it just kind of sounds odd. Um, you don't have to growl to be rock. I mean, gritty, kind of a hard voice that can be very rock. You don't have to growl all the time. And if you're going to make that like growling sound, you got to make it make sense. It just, it just seems out of place at times. Um, but in general, I do think that this was a very strong performance. Um, I think that there were some pitch issues. There were moments where the pitch kind of wavered, but I really think that the ending was pretty strong and I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I can see kind of where Mark is coming from along a certain aspect to the performance. So I guess my question on it would be before we sort of go on to actually talking about the voting side of things, if it was a little more reined in and much more technically nailed, would you guys have scored it higher? Because I absolutely you would. If it was technically better, like I still think that it was performance wise, I don't think it was over like too, like too strong. I think there was a good control there, but if it was more technically precise and some of the enunciations were there and some of the wavering wasn't there, I think I definitely would have scored it a little bit higher than I did. Yes. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like if there was more technically sound and a little bit more reined in, I, I would have felt like it would have uh, pushed it over the edge to where I 
felt you know it was like because i was in between a couple scores with him and i feel like I'll, you know having those qualities in the song probably would have pushed it towards the other end for me yeah i mean spoiler alert spoiler alert okay but i think a few points if there were some if the technicality was just a little more on point this probably would have gotten one of my highest ratings but because there were technical issues i had to take off some points so cool okay i think um i think we've wrapped that up pretty nicely so are we good to go into talking about votes all right i'm i'm good to go all right cool so that brings an end to the deliberation for the next top singer 2021 semi-final stick with us for the next part as we see which of these talented singers advance to the grand final thanks for watching don't miss the upcoming result please like comment share and subscribe